Hey, welcome back to the channel. So a little while ago, I did a video on how to take your Chromebook and use it on your desktop with a keyboard and mouse and an external monitor. Well, today we're going to kind of take that concept, but flip it around. And I'm going to show you how to use your Chromebook as an external display for your Macintosh. Now, I also will have a video very soon on how to do this on Windows, but it ended up being two different applications. So I decided to split it into two different videos. Now, before we get into this, you got to make sure that your Chromebook is one that can run Android applications. So either an older one that's been upgraded or a newer Chromebook. If it can't run Android applications, unfortunately, you won't be able to use this method but if you can run apps, this is a very solid method. The other thing I wanted to point out is that the application I'm going to talk about is a paid application, but I am in no way affiliated with the developers. They've not contacted me. I've had no communication with them. I purchased this with my own money. And after doing weeks and weeks of trying different applications, this is the one that worked the best. So I wanted to share it with you. Now with that out of the way, that application I'm talking about is Duet Display. At the time of this video, it's $9.99 in the Google Play Store on your Chromebook. So you just go out there, uh, purchase it, download it, install it. And then on your Macintosh, you install the free client it's available on their website. I'll have a link down in the description. You just install it and run it. Once it runs, you have to make sure that your Chromebook and your Macintosh are on the same Wi-Fi network. Now, this application technically has support for a wired connection, but that's only if you're using like an iPad or an Android tablet or something like that. Uh, Chromebooks are supported, but it specifically says that they're not supported for wired connections, only wireless connections. So once you have your Chromebook, and your Mac on the same wireless connection. You load the application on your Chromebook, load the application on your Mac, and then within the app on the Mac, you should see your Chromebook show up. If it doesn't show up, try restarting your Mac. I've had that problem a couple times. And if you can't get it to show up at all, you can specify the IP address of your Chromebook to make that direct connection. Fortunately, I haven't had to do that. I've had it show up every time or just restarted my Mac and then it showed up. So once it does show up, you can hit the connection button. And once you connect, it acts just like any other monitor hooked up to your Mac. You can go into the settings within the Duet Display application and change all kinds of settings settings. The first setting is resolution and this acts just like the resolution on any other uh, external display. You can set it a low resolution or a high resolution. The highest mine goes is 1920 by 1080. I don't know if that's a limitation of my Chromebook or if that's just how the app works. The next up is the retina setting and turning this on simulates a retina display on your Chromebook by providing two times the pixel density on that display. Next up is frame rate, and you could set that at either 30 or 60. Uh, obviously 60 is gonna be smoother display on that Chromebook. You can set it down to 30 if you have a slower connection though, and try to make up for some of that limited bandwidth. Last setting is quality, and you can set this at either regular or high. High quality is gonna have less artifacting, but it's gonna use much more battery life. The regular is gonna have possibly a little more artifacting, use less battery life, and again, the regular may be a little bit better for a slower Wi-Fi connection. So like I said, at this point, it acts just like an external display. You can drag windows over to it. You can go full screen. You can play videos, do whatever you want. And the nice thing about Chromebooks is that a lot of them have touchscreen. And if your Chromebook is touchscreen enabled, once you drag an application to that screen, you can use your finger or your stylus or whatever to interact with that window and get some of those touch controls. So again, this is the best way that I've found to use a Chromebook as an external display for your Mac. There are a ton of other options available out there. I honestly tried a lot of those. I spent a couple of weeks on this and Duet Display is the one that works the best for your Mac. Now, Duet Display also works on Windows, but I didn't talk about it in this video because there's another application that, in my opinion, works a little bit better on the Windows side. So I'll be talking about that in the next video if you want to see that. Or if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button so you know when I put up more of these. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave those down in the comment section below. I try to answer all my comments, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.